Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at Hiking Emergency Beacon. And today I finished the fourth test of the 67i battery. And I am doing five tests, but this is the fourth one. Now, the second test I did was basically leaving it alone and I had it running 24 seven and it was in a GNSS mode. And I didn't do any field tests during that time. I wasn't out in Colorado doing anything. This fourth test was the same test other than it was in GPS mode. Again, I did not go out for those five or six days or actually a little bit longer and I didn't test anything. I wasn't out testing my satellite communicators. So here's what happened. But before I give you the results, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So what happened in the first test? It lasted roughly six and a half days. Now, I shut the test off after it got to 20%, and that was about five and a half days into it, but it lasted about six and a half days if I would have let it run out. And it was losing 15% of the battery a day. Now, again, remember, this isn't a scientific or an engineered test. It's me just turning this thing on, testing it different ways to see if the battery is living up to what Garmin said. Now, on this fourth test, again, it's the same as the second test other than it's in GPS mode. Let me give you the rundown on it, the quick and dirty, the final results, whatever you want to say. It was losing about 11% per day versus 15% per day. So the GPS mode doesn't give you near as good accuracy as the GNSS mode, but it does give you a longer battery life. So let me just tell you, at 11%, it would give you around nine to nine and a half days, I think about nine days of battery life versus six and a half days on the GNS mode. In rough terms here, that's about two and a half extra days of battery in GPS mode versus the GNS mode. So another thing you can look at, if I were to run down the battery to zero on both tests, in the GNS mode, I would have run it down to about 160 hours, slightly less than what Garmin said at 165 or so. But in the GPS mode, it would have taken about 216 hours. And that again gives you around nine, nine and a half days of battery life. So that's the end of the test. I am gonna do one more test. The fifth test, I was gonna do an expedition mode, but expedition mode is gonna last you two weeks to a month. And I'm not gonna run a test for that long. Just everything I've seen at this point is telling me that Garmin, what they're putting out, what they're saying about the battery is absolutely true. Based upon what one subscriber had asked, and it was say motorsports, whether it's ATVs or motorcycles, whatever it might be, what happens on the battery life when you have the screen on all the time, 75% brightness, you're tracking, and you're using it, uh, I mean, to the fullest capabilities pretty much, uh, what would happen? So that, that'll be the fifth test. And that and I am testing this week and I'll start tomorrow. But just again, going back to the difference between the GNS mode versus GPS mode, I'm not sure actually what Garmin says about it, but what I just saw was your battery is gonna run down about 15% per day on the GNS SS mode versus 11% per day on the GPS mode. You're going to get roughly six and a half days out of the GNS mode versus around nine, nine and a half days out of the GPS mode. Now, this is not, again, scientific. It's just what I'm seeing with my device, and I just want to let you know. So I hope you've liked the test, and there is one more coming up, but please leave comments below. Ask questions, give advice. I mean, I'm gonna to respond to you guys as quick as possible, usually within 24 hours, I mean, faster than that. And I love to hear your guys' feedback because this helps me to be better at my reviews in the future. And I'm, I'm basically at the end of my test with this one last fifth test. But if you've got something else you want me to test, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And if it's something I can make a new video of or test and then respond to you, I'll do that. But please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. And I'll see you back out here in Colorado soon in another video.